Okay, we are at North Kelso in Equestrian Acres. Three car garage, quite a bit of parking. Covered deck in the front. Really nice landscaping in the front. Good size front yard. Really nicely maintained homes and lawns in this neighborhood. Beautiful framing on the exterior. Rock accents. Let's go inside. Walk in, you have your formal dining, really large, tray ceilings, 14 foot windows and ceilings. You got the pillars, beautiful tile floor your entry. I'll shut the door here. Walk in, you've got your large living room. You can see they have a pretty large couch in here that really fits the room well. Open seating for entertaining. Tall ceilings, really nice ceiling fan, and you can really feel the air moving too, that really circulates. It's a warm day today and it's pretty cool in here, which is nice. We have our large bay windows in the front, kind of gives it that chalet look. Um, these window coverings were closed when I came in to keep the room cool, but I opened them so that you could see the beautiful sunlight that you get in here, which really helps in the winter time as well to have that daylight in here. Nice gas fireplace. Beautiful custom tiled fireplace. Gorgeous wood mantle. And then you can walk in here. You've got your smaller dining area, door to the backyard. You can put a dining room table in here. You can put a breakfast nook. Nice windows, bay windows that go right into the backyard. Large open concept kitchen. Stainless steel appliances, granite countertops. Good quality cabinets. It's a lar this is a very large island. This is probably one of the largest islands I've ever seen. They've put a little um, utility type shelf there for more storage, but the entire kitchen has, <clears throat> excuse me, quite a few cabinets a lot of storage. It has a very warm neutral feel to it. Again those stainless steel appliances that's a gas range. There's a wine cooler which I noted that that's pretty new within the past year as well as I think the fridge was also within the recent year. This could be a little area where you maybe open your mail or do your bills. You could put a little chair there. If 
There's a pantry right off the kitchen. Good size, tall and functional. Quite a few shelves. You can see it quits quite a bit. back through. You've got your laundry area, mudroom area with a utility sink, which is very nice. If you come in in the winter or in the spring breakup, maybe with muddy boots or wet boots from the snow, this is all tile as well. Nice front load washer. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not a front load. It's a top loader. We've got some shelving up top for storage. And then here's the three car garage. Let me find a light. And the sellers are moving right now, so all of their personal items are packed up in the garage right now, just being just awaiting their moves. So there's quite a bit of stuff in here right now, but you can see it's a large three car garage. It's a two car garage door with a one car to the side. So plenty of room for storage. And you've got some shelving up top as well, as well as up here. There's quite a bit of stuff in here, so I'm not gonna go in there, but as you can see, a very large garage. And you've also got your boiler and hot water here, over here. Come back through. Oh, I forgot to turn off the light. Okay. Back through the utility and mudroom, past the kitchen. We're heading back to the front. You've got a nice half bath right here. Good size. Just a little powder room for your guests. And then we're gonna go back through to the front entrance, got our living room, front door, large formal dining. Let's go back through and go to the back. Actually, let's go. Let's go to the other side of the house first. So you can see it's a pretty large entry, which is really nice for an Alaska. When you have people coming in the front door, taking off their shoes, it's nice to have a big open area. Okay, we're gonna come across and here are the other bedrooms. This is really neat. This is a good sized room. Again, large windows, nice wood blinds. I use this as a children's room right now. Large closet. It opens up into a Jack and Jill bathroom, which is wonderful for grandchildren visiting or guests. It's a full bath with a shower and tub combo. There's the shower, tub. You can see it's a Jack and Jill. Oh, there is a linen closet, which is nice. Similar to the other pantry. Oh, and there was another closet on the other side as well. And this goes into another bedroom. Again, pretty good size. This one's a little bit smaller than the other as far as the layout, but this could be a great office. You could put some bunk beds for grandkids in here. Really nice with the tall ceilings, makes it feel much larger in here, especially in a ranch home. hallway and here we are with the master good size again tall tray ceilings makes it feel much larger in here large and open there's a really nice ceiling fan as well it feels very cool in here you can feel the 
the air circulating. They have the room set up pretty well with their furniture, making it feel very open. Nice vinyl sliders for windows. And into the master ensuite bathroom, have our vanity. Jetted jacuzzi tub. This is a very large bathroom. Again, the tall ceilings make it just feel very large. Shower stall separate. So you've actually got two sinks, one here and one here, which is very nice. And you've got the vanity area to get ready and put on your makeup and do your hair. And then the bathroom is in its own room. This is a really good layout. And then we've got our closet. It's good size. Laid out really well, has nice organization. Um, this is clearly custom with all of the built-in shelving. We've got room for hanging and even room for shoes. So good size. Okay. That's another view of the bathroom. Again, you've got the tile in here. Makes it very easy to clean, keeps it cool. This is forced air heating. back out to the living room area. We can go in the backyard. Back into the kitchen. It's a beautiful day in the mid 70s. Onto our deck. They've got their grill and a fire pit out here. It's a large lot. We've got some mature bushes. There's a rhubarb patch is nice. That will come back every year. I believe these are the apple trees. So you can see there's quite a bit of space between your neighbor. Makes it very private. Got some beautiful garden boxes down here for flowers. It doesn't look like they have anything planted right now in the boxes below, but you could plant some vegetables. And that looks like strawberry plants. Yep, that's those are strawberries. It's a very mature patch. These are raspberry bushes. Oh, lots of raspberries actually you can see. There's a lot of raspberries right now. So this is your backyard.
go ahead and walk around. It's the man door to the garage. Actually, the garage has windows too, which is nice. Another apple tree, mature. Here's the other side of the front yard. And there you go. This is North Kelso, beautiful neighborhood. Gorgeous layout of ranch home, quiet street.